Hi, I'm Jeanette Connery, yoga therapist at Creating a Sustainable You. Today I'm going to show you a mini sequence to help with a tight psoas. The psoas is the muscle that is the connection between your low back and your leg. And when we do a lot of sitting, like most of us do, it gets really tight and that can cause back pain and even hip pain and limited mobility. So let's get started. We're going to lie down on the side of the body here. Prop yourself up on your elbow and extend your leg, same leg as the elbow you're on. So for example, I'm on my left arm here. I have my left leg extended and opposite leg bent behind you. Okay. And we're going to inhale the arm up and really stretch the back. Exhale, bring that arm down, bring your hip down, and you're probably going to feel this stretching right here. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're doing this a total of eight times. So this is number three. Four. Inhale up. Exhale down, five, six, seven, Beautiful. Now we're switching sides. Okay. Now we're on one elbow. Same leg is stretched out. Opposite leg folded behind you. Just to the point where you're comfortable. Okay. Inhale your arm up and open into stretching out the front of your body. Exhale, the arm comes down, the hip comes down. Seven more. Inhale up. Okay, two more. Last one. Well done. Okay, the next movement we'll do is in the uh, lunge position. So if you know that you have knees that require a little extra love, put a blanket on your mat for some extra padding. Now the focus here is not really on the lunge itself, okay? I'll tell you that much. It's not about going into a deep lunge to try to stretch that psoas. We're just going to start in this really baby lunge, okay? You can see the weight of my body is on my back knee here. And tilt your pelvis back. You might already be feeling something when you do that. Let me show you again what I'm talking about. So this is the pelvis tilting forward. And you can see I have an arch, a really deep arch in my back when I do this. Tilting the pelvis back. Tilting the tailbone that way. Okay. Lengthening out this hip in the front. Now we can lean forward, keep your pelvis tilted back, and it helps to activate the glute on your standing leg. Okay, so activate the glute on your standing leg, have the pelvis tilted back, lean, just slide forward a little bit, just a little is enough, honestly. 
Okay, your psoas is in the fully lengthened position now, and we're gonna work with activating it in two different directions. And to do that, we're going to pull the front foot towards the back knee, back knee towards the front foot, like this. Nothing really moves, we're just activating the muscles, okay? And then you can go in the opposite direction. Foot goes that way, knee goes that way. Pelvis is still tilted back, okay? That was one. Take a break for a second, okay? Now, you also have the option of adding your arm. Let's see what that feels like. Tilt the pelvis back, come forward, squeeze your glute, arm up. So if you're standing on your left knee, your left arm comes up, big stretch in the left side, take a breath, and as you exhale, pull the foot towards the knee, and as you inhale, push the foot and the knee away from each other. Keep your butt on, keep your pelvis tilted back. Big, big sensation. One more time, pull the foot towards the knee, knee towards the foot, and push them away from each other. Pelvis is still tilted back. Glute is still on. Reach a little bit longer through those fingers. And slowly come out of that. Good. Hands and knees, just wiggle a little before we move on to the other side. Good. So we're switching sides. You're standing on your opposite leg this time. Weight is back here on this leg. Okay, tilt the pelvis back. Make sure you stand straight up too. We don't want to see this kind of rounding because I just did that. So I know it's the natural tendency. Fight that natural tendency to curl forward. Just tilt the pelvis back. Use this gluteus to really engage the posterior tilt of your pelvis. Take a breath and come forward slightly. Just a little, okay? Take another breath and as you exhale, pull the knee towards the foot, the foot towards the knee. And then go in the opposite direction. Good. Relax for a second. Now we're going to try adding the arm, just like we did on the other side. Okay, so again, tilt the pelvis back. Use these glutes. Turn those on. Come forward a little bit. Raise your arm. Okay, take a breath. And as you exhale, pull the knee towards the foot, foot towards the knee and reverse, they go away from each other. Good, one more time, bring them towards each other. Pelvis is still tilted back and bring them away from each other. Pelvis is still tilted back, reach a little bit longer through those fingers and release. Whew. Okay, hands and knees, wiggle. Do some circles, okay, feel it out. And now we're gonna come to standing. So come to standing, please. We'll need to move the blanket out of the way. And just stand here for a second. Decide if there's any difference that you can tell in the fronts of your hips and the sensation in your low back. Now we're going to integrate the full range of control for your muscle, the psoas. For this, you'll need to get a chair and place your hand on the chair. Find mountain pose, toes pointing forward, roll your shoulders back and down. Use your abdominals to support you. Your low back is long and your sits bones are reaching towards the floor top of your head reaching for the sky and shift the weight of your body onto one foot or the other. For example, I'll just say I'm using my left. So I'm shifting onto my left and I'm going to lift the right heel towards my butt. You'll notice my knee is still pointing at the floor. This does not move at all. I'm just bringing the heel towards my butt. Pulling the toes in, really feeling the hamstring right now. 
push through your heel, feel the glutes come on. So watch this, there's a difference. This is what I'm asking you to do. This is what you might feel like doing. It's not this big, it's tiny, okay? We'll start again. Lift the foot, knee pointing at the floor, push through the glute, really feel that come on. Next, bring the knee up in front as high as you can. Some, sometimes this is as high as it goes, right? That's, be happy with that. You're getting stronger already. Extend your foot and very slowly lower it down. There's one more piece I want to draw your attention to. When you bring your knee up in front or when you extend your leg, look out for this, okay? We don't want to get that leg as high as we can, as high as we can. It's not really the point. We're trying to work the psoas here. So we want to get a muscle that's not used to working and get it to work. So subtlety is key here. You want perfection in your spinal alignment Remember, this is the muscle that joins your low back to your leg. Okay, let's flip around and do that on the other side. <sighs> Find your mountain pose. Lift your heel, bring it towards your butt. Knee is still pointing directly at the floor. Push. The heel out behind you, really feel the butt come on, and then bring the knee forward. Straighten the leg, make sure you have good spinal alignment here. Slowly lower it down with control. Very good. Okay, let's do it two more times on each side. We'll do two this way and then two that way. Oh, set yourself up here. Lift the heel. Good. Push out behind you. Bring the knee forward. Really using your abdominals here. Notice that. So much more stability when you turn those on. Straighten the leg out. Lower it down. And by now, you might even be noticing your standing leg is doing quite a bit of work as well. Okay, last one on this side. Lift the heel, point the knee at the floor, push the heel out behind you, really have your butt turn on. Use your abs here to stabilize your spine, resist the urge to curl forward, bringing the knee forward, and extending the leg, and lowering it down all the way. Good. Again, don't be hard on yourself if you can't bring your leg all the way up. It's actually a very hard thing to do. You're getting stronger already. Okay? Okay. Two more on this side. So, lift the heel, feel your hamstrings. Push out behind you, good. Abs are coming on. Bring the knee forward. Extend the leg. And lower down. Okay, little wiggle. Last one. Okay, bring the heel up. Push the heel out. Bring the knee up and extend the leg out. Really powerful here. Very control, lowering the leg down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. That was the psoas mini sequence for strengthening and getting your psoas to be able to move in a larger range of motion. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jeanette Connery. And if you're interested in more individualized instruction, please schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. Namaste.